did you did you have any moments where you realized i noticed when we brought on we have two new great producers uh josh and devin devin's here today producing this i noticed it when because gowdy runs that team of the production and i noticed now like if i have a very specific opinion that something that needs to get done then i'm sort of needed for sure if there's a visual thing that we're going to do it needs to be that way but other than that, I'm just disruptive. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> you realize, oh, these people know so much more than I do. Yeah. Like, I can't I can't spend too much time here because I'm just going to cause problems. Yeah, and, and very cognizant about it, too, because yeah. because just the presence can change that conversation. Right. And, and sort of the, everybody's kind of making it their own, and then you can come and kind of disrupt them. Exactly. So I'm, so I'm very much, it, 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 uh, it's one of the biggest uh, challenges for myself because I love that. Right. Because right, we I love like that it. Yeah. 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 But you got to pull yourself out. And I Look at and the great thing is about our team members is um you know egos left at the door like yeah. these folks want to win yeah and so there's lots of hard conversations internally about stuff but people don't take it personally right right because they there's want that to win. attitude there's that passion yeah yeah and the and the leadership in the company is phenomenal these leaders that are in these different departments because um, they don't sway in the wind so like it takes them to some time to be convinced right but when they're convinced they're all in. And I love that because then I know that I know that we're going to stay on the direction we're going. But if we have to change direction, there's a really good reason why we change direction someplace. Yeah. And it wasn't just, oh, that's the next great idea. Let's go that way. Did you see that interview uh, that Bezos did with Lex Friedman? Not yet. I, I'll send that to you. Okay. It's a it's it's sort of touching on that, and it's a fantastic awesome. approach. He it, it's well, it's very. There's actually a lot of similarities. Oh, nice. It, so it, it's a little bit of hearing you'll, you'll yeah. be hearing yourself back a little. This bit. wasn't strategic. This was this all yeah. just kind of came to and came into place right with these people that um, they're passionate about winning, and they're very good humans, and so therefore they can have very um, hard conversations with each other. And then, but once the decision is made, when they all agree on it or, or the person that needs to make the decision agrees on it, yes. they're behind it, right? right? Yeah. And that's, that's, I want to say, you know, the biggest challenge I think is, as we continue to grow is making sure we keep that core identity and DNA yeah. in there. But I think we have the right people to make sure that happens. That's a huge thing. If you can get that in your team that, and it's that from that interview and then hearing you say it again is, is that sometimes you won't a hundred percent agree, but if the decision's made, that decision to then go all in. Yeah. Okay, I might be right, you might be wrong, I don't know, but if it's your decision to make, we're going all in on this decision. And and what I found is it's like a flywheel because because the other team members all know that that's like that is the intention you're coming into these discussions with. Yeah, they respect they respect your your pushback on stuff. Right, because right? they know you're they gonna know. go all in on whatever yes. ends up being decided. Yeah, yeah. if yeah. that is ever, if that trust is ever broken then the system breaks.